information. And speaking of pieces of information, uh, you know, looking at your your site and and looking into your what your organization does, I thought it was again fascinating. I haven't really seen this before, and I wonder where the the idea of this came from. But the idea of rating <laughs> rating college coaches, okay, I think that's a fascinating concept. Wh where did that come from? I looked at at the way in which you and I think the transition that you make and what you use to rate these these coaches is kind of a uh, a, a fundamental way of looking at things with the star rating. So uh, what is that all about? Where did that come from and how does that work? Yeah, so it actually came, it was an idea in a college class my senior year. This is one of the mm -hmm. many reasons I love Skidmore. Um, but, you know, it came, it came from that and it came from me and a couple other athletes in my class having similar experiences uh, as far as not bad experiences, but just different experiences and not what we expected going into from the recruiting process into actually playing as a college athlete. So I think that um, what we decided was that there needed to be just some more transparency. And, you know, there's max prep ratings. There's, you know, there's a lot of things to rate players on how their performance is, but we decided to kind of say, hey, you know what, let's create a rating system where college, current and former college athletes can rate their college coaches so that anybody going through the recruiting process knows what to expect a little bit more. And I say this all the time. I don't think it's a bad coach, good coach thing. I think it's a mismatch between the coach and the player. And I think that happens more times than not because you could have a coach that is really tough, maybe picks favorites and, you know, is really focused on fitness, but some players will thrive in that environment. Um, okay. And if it's something where you feel like, Hey, you know what? I think I can handle a coach that's going to yell at me every day. Um, mm -hmm. Then that, that's the kind of coach that you need to be with. Um, if you can't be with a passive coach, you shouldn't want to go play for a passive coach. But again, you can't really get that all on your short recruiting trip. You just don't True. understand it. Could, you know, a, a practice is a practice. A, a team could have a really bad day and a coach that's super passive might just be really mad that day. Um, and, you know, yeah. I think it's really hard to get a true snapshot of, the whole vibe in just that that small period of time so you know Correct. this is just kind of lending the perspectives and advice from these high from these high school athletes from these college athletes to say hey you sure. know what the coach is like this and these are my situations this is my story now the next generation you can kind of pick and choose from that information taking taking that advice from their experiences what I, i'm i'm Curious to know, have you uh, look at the ratings that go all the way from one star to five stars, right? Have you had, have you ever had any blowback from coaches who did not tend sure. to rate out that, that well? What did that look like? What did that sound like? How did you handle that? Yeah, I've, I've gotten it um, probably less than you would imagine, but I've certainly got, gotten it. And I've also got, yep. I got it way more in the beginning. Um, okay. I think ratings, rating culture has changed a lot anyway. I think when we first started, it was just more like, yell heavy and uh there was rate my professor but now we have rate my teacher rate my lawyer you rate your uber driver like you're rating everybody so it's kind of like a black mirror episode right where we're, yes. we're living in this <laughs> system of ratings and it's becoming more and more prevalent but you know i had a couple i've had coaches girlfriends i've had coaches wives i've had coaches husbands reach out to me i've had coaches oh. themselves um, okay. I've had it all at this point. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's wide open. Wow. Right, okay. exactly. Yeah, yeah. and right. you know, it's, it's, it's a vast range of things. Um, sure. You know, sometimes it's just one bad rating that makes somebody angry. But again, we, we live in a rating sure. system. You could read between the lines. If you have 20 good ratings and one bad one, like I think everybody knows, okay, it's a, a player that yeah. just didn't like them and it's probably yeah. a very good coach. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've, I've had... Some, some stuff. <laughs> I've been threatened to be sued. Um, I've, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. And you know, here's the thing, like at the end of the day, I think my biggest issue with the whole system of college athletics right now is, you know, you go through the NCAA bylaws and there's no bylaws against coach abuse, uh, coaches needing mental health training um, or anything like that. It's just more geared towards, we'll call it the things that matter from a financial sense. So sure. if we're, if we're creating, creating noise and, you know, people are getting mad at me, in my opinion, I'm doing something right. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and, and no it's doubt. not just the ratings yeah. component too. I mean, we have this whole huddle section where we have athletes yeah. share their recruiting horror stories. Sure. Um, they're talking sure. about mental health struggles. So okay. we want to be the platform where college athletes feel comfortable to come and share their stories. Um, 
you know, as bluntly as possible. Sometimes we'll take anonymous stories, but for the most part, we like to kind of have like showcase their experience and what happened. But the ratings are anonymous, but we do verify those ratings. So we have this whole ecosystem of okay. just transparency, in my opinion, and in trying to put to life what everything is going on with college athletics. Recruiting, yes, of course, because it just falls into it, but also yeah. the whole scope of college athletics as well.